Merci. Thank you. Gayla Kasna, Masicho, Kriyanamik, Marcy, Wellalan, Megwich. Merci. Merci d'être ici aujourd'hui. Thank you to the commissioners who've done extraordinary work. Thank you to Eugene, Madeleine, John, for your strength, for your stories. You know, John highlighted something for me. I went to some very good schools as a child. And throughout this experience, I can only feel guilty, but at least very aware of the contrast between my schooling and um, the experiences some others went through, the survivors went through, the families that the survivors went through, and those who were not survivors. And in the course of the good schools I went to, I remember one moment in the Canadian history class when we got to the chapter in the textbook on Indigenous Canadians. Good school, good teacher, good textbook, I suppose. And the teacher shrugged and said, this chapter is not very interesting and not very important, so we're going to skip it. <coughs> and we went on to talk about the Durham report or some other such things. Well, let me tell you, the work that you have done here today, the work that all of you here are part of, will ensure that never again in the future of Canada will students be told that this is not an integral part of everything we are as a country, everything we are as Canadians. That is a promise we make right here, all of us together. I want to thank you for welcoming me onto traditional Algonquin territory. And I want to thank the elders, the chiefs, the church representatives, and all parties from the House of Commons and everyone involved in the residential school settlement agreement who have come together today. Merci de m'avoir invité. Pour certains de ceux qui sont aussi ici aujourd'hui, Notre dernière rencontre remonte au mois de juin, à Rideau Hall, lors de la cérémonie qui a marqué la fin des nombreuses années de travail acharné de la Commission de vérité et réconciliation. Comme tous qui étaient là présents ce jour-là, je n'oublierai jamais cet événement. Ce souvenir restera marqué dans mon cœur et influencera aussi les gestes que posera mon gouvernement, le gouvernement du Canada, sur la voie de la réconciliation. To the many former residential school students with us today or watching at home, thank you for your extraordinarily, extraordinary bravery. Thank you for your willingness to share your stories. The previous government expressed this well when it said in its formal apology that your courage is a testament to your resilience as individuals and to the strength of your cultures. The apology also noted that the burden of this experience has been on your shoulders for far too long. The burden is properly ours as a government and as a country. Our goal, as we move forward together, is clear. 
It is to lift this burden from your shoulders, from those of your families and communities. It is to accept fully our responsibilities and our failings as a government and as a country. Seven years later, the apology is no less true and no less timely. The government of Canada sincerely apologizes and asks the forgiveness of the Aboriginal peoples of this country for failing them so profoundly. At the same time, today, there is reason for hope. Today, we find ourselves on a new path, working together toward a nation-to-nation -nation relationship based on recognition, rights, respect, cooperation, and partnership. As I told chiefs at the Assembly of First Nations last week, and was, as was expressed in our throne speech, we need nothing less than a total renewal of the relationship between Canada and Indigenous peoples. This is a commitment that I and we take very seriously. In their mandate letters, I told government ministers that no relationship is more important to me and to Canada than the one with First Nations, the Métis Nation, and Inuit peoples. Let me say it once again. I give you my word that we will renew and respect that relationship. Demain, je vais rencontrer des organisations autochtones nationales. Nous allons entreprendre une conversation importante et nécessaire sur la, sur la manière d'aller de l'avant en vue de la réconciliation. Aujourd'hui, j'ai l'honneur d'accepter, au nom du gouvernement du Canada, le rapport final de la Commission. Ce résultat est le Ce rapport est le résultat de plus de six ans de travail acharné, assidu et souvent très émouvant. Commission Chair Justice Marie Sinclair and Commissioners Chief Wilton Littlechild and Dr. Marie Wilson worked tirelessly and at significant emotional cost to themselves as well courage and valor, worked tirelessly to bring to light the truth about residential schools in Canada. They helped provide a safe place for those who suffered so that they could tell their stories and feel supported and heard. They struck a careful and compassionate balance between opening old wounds and providing survivors the chance to heal, and they delivered a final report that honors the courage of each and every former student and family member who shared their testimony. The final report provides a way forward for all Canadians, building on the formal apology of seven years ago. It sets us squarely on the path to true reconciliation. The Government of Canada is committed to walking that path with Indigenous peoples in partnership and in friendship. In fact, that work has already begun. A national inquiry into missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls is now underway.
Ministers are meeting with survivors, families, and loved ones to seek their input on how best we shall move forward. Nous avons réitéré nos engagements de faire d'importants investissements en éducation pour les Premières Nations et de supprimer le, plafon le plafonnement à 2 du financement des programmes qui leur sont destinés. En partenariat avec les communautés autochtones, les provinces, les territoires et d'autres partenaires importants, nous mettrons intégralement en œuvre les actions recommandées de la Commission de vérité et de réconciliation. Nous commencerons par donner suite à la Déclaration des Nations unies sur le droit des peuples autochtones. And we recognize that true reconciliation goes beyond the scope of the Commission's calls to action. I am therefore announcing that we will work with leaders of First Nations, the Métis Nation, Inuit, provinces and territories, parties to the Indian Residential School Settlement Agreement, and other key partners to design a national stra engagement strategy for developing and implementing a national reconciliation framework, including a formal response to the Truth and Reconciliation Commission's calls to action. Sur le chemin de la vérité à la réconciliation que nous parcourrons ensemble, nous continuerons à rendre hommage à la vie et aux expériences des personnes disparues, ainsi qu'à celles des personnes qui sont encore ici avec nous aujourd'hui. Nous nous rappellerons que notre obligation, les uns envers les autres, transcende nos accords officiels. Cette obligation dicte également notre façon de nous traiter les uns les autres avec respect et dignité. We will remember always that reconciliation is not an indigenous issue. It is a Canadian issue. Thank you for the opportunity to share in this important work. I am honored to be your partner and your friend. Merci.